Hello fellow animal lover! I'm going to show you guys some fun and easy pet DIYs that you can do for your furry friend. A pet dog is like a family member, so why not personalize their collar for that special touch? For this one, all you need is a basic collar, some ribbon or embellishment, and a hot glue gun from your local craft store. First, experiment and play around until you have an idea for the final design. All you have to do is measure out the length of the collar and cut your ribbon to the correct length. Then hot glue it on. And for those of you who think, ain't no one got time for this, guess what? This took less than five minutes to make and your dog has a collar that was handmade with love. If your dog's collar is janky and needs a little bit of that zhuzh, all you need is a basic collar, fabric. These are super cheap. They're the perfect size and they come in a variety of colors and patterns. Don't forget your measuring tape, pom-pom ribbon, scissors, and a hot glue gun. First, measure out the collar, making sure to leave room for the buckle or clasp at the end. Now, choose the base fabric. This fabric will need to wrap all the way around the collar, so measure the width of the collar and leave a quarter or a half room to glue. Next, hot glue the fabric around the collar, making sure the seam is on the inside. Now comes the fun part. Using your pom-pom ribbon or any decorations of your choice, hot glue this on the outside of the collar. Voila! The last collar is this adorable detachable rose bouquet. It's perfect for weddings and fancy events. All you need is a collar, felt in cream, green, and pink, scissors, and hot glue gun. Start by cutting out a piece of the cream felt so it wraps all the way around the collar with some wiggle room. Hot glue the ends together. Now it's time to make the rosebuds. Cut out small circles of pink or floral colored felt. Now cut in, starting from the outside, a spiral. Once you've cut the center, hold the spiral and begin wrapping the fabric around itself to create a small rose. Just repeat with each rose and don't forget to hot glue the ends and inside so that it's more secure. Next, take your green felt and cut out tiny leaves. From here, assemble all the pieces together. Before you start gluing, place all the pieces of the base felt and rearrange until you have an arrangement that you like. Using the hot glue gun, glue down each rose and leaf. Since this piece is detachable, your dog can wear it to any parties and special occasions. If your dog likes to get down and dirty, here's a DIY dog shampoo that you can make for your best friend. All you need is a clean bottle or jar with a secure lid, measuring cup, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, mild soap that's dye and fragrance free, water, and essential oil. Mix all the ingredients together and shake well. Coconut and essential oil are potent. A little goes a long way. And when it's time to give your dog a good cleaning, shake the shampoo, massage it in, and rinse thoroughly. Make your feline BFF this cool cat scratcher post. For those who might think it's cheaper to buy a scratch post, this quality DIY piece you see right here costs a whopping $10. You will need a wooden base, two wooden dowels, jute rope, scissors, a power drill, screwdriver bit, drill bit, and screws. Ask around at your local hardware store if they have any scraps of wood to use as your base. Start with a three feet wooden post from any hardware supply store. Get them cut into two sizes, a long and a short post. Take your drill and attach a drill bit matching the size of the screws you intend to use. I used a six by eight inch screw. Drill holes in the wooden base where you would like to screw the post in. Repeat the drill process for each post and then switch out the drill bit for a screwdriver bit. Now, using the wooden panel as your base, secure each post by drilling your screws into each peg. Using your colorful strong jute rope, wrap it around the post. Jute is a sturdy type of rope with a rough texture. You can find it at almost any hardware or craft store. Keep wrapping and winding as tightly as possible and do as many layers as you would like to achieve your desired thickness. And don't worry if it's not perfectly wrapped. Cats will appreciate the texture. Voila, happy scratching. Elevate your kitty's nest by making this kitty teepee. You'll need five two foot sticks, some string, fabric, safety pens, a pillow, soft rug, or blanket. Begin by creating the texture of your teepee with the five sticks and fan them out like a tent. Once you have your sticks in place, weave your string in and out of the sticks and begin wrapping them together towards the top to secure it in place. And once the structure is set, it's time to add your fabric. Drape the fabric over the sticks like this. 
and use a safety pin to keep it in place. Now, all you have to do is add a soft blanket or rug into the teepee and it's all ready to go. A perfect place for a cat nap. For those of you with smaller fluffy friends like a bunny or guinea pig, you can make a little spot for them to nest in, all made out of wooden dowels. For this, you'll need a circular surface to make the shape for your dome, some paint, and a hot glue gun. Start by giving each of your sticks a coat of paint in your favorite colors. Let it dry completely before you begin gluing. Now, attach the sticks to each other one by one around the container, making sure the ends are able to rest flat on the ground. Before you begin moving it around, make sure the glue dries after each piece. And now it's done. It's a cute little hiding spot for your pet. To make this adorable rope buffet, cut small pieces of carrots, apples, and lettuce, and make sure they're small enough to be attached to a clothespin. Tie the string low enough so that your pet can reach and hang a few nibbles of food from each clothespin. Just layer the food across the string and tie it up close to your pet's favorite hangout. And now you can pause for cuteness. The sad truth is that 3 million cats and dogs are put down in shelters each year. If just one out of five Americans adopted a cat or dog from a shelter or rescue, not a single healthy, treatable pet would lose his or her life. Shelters and rescues are the best places to find your furry friend. Did you just go get these guys? Yeah, they just came from South LA. These guys just came yeah. from South LA on their freedom ride. Oh. There's also a misconception that shelter pets are bad. Not true. Most of these poor animals end up in shelters because of their previous owners, not the animals themselves. There's a lot of people who have problems finding pet-friendly housing when they move, but the Humane Society of the United States is working to change that. You can visit humanesociety.org slash pets are welcome for the tips and resources on finding housing that welcomes pets. The best way to find out how truly amazing shelter pets are is to meet one. You can start by visiting the shelterpetproject.org where you can search for adoptable pets near you. If you're an animal lover, volunteering at your local shelter is a great place to start. You might be able to walk dogs, give attention to cats and rabbits, or even feed baby birds. A lot of shelters offer foster programs where you can help care for animals in your own home temporarily until they can be adopted out permanently. A big warm thank you to the Best Friends Pet Adoption Center in Mission Hills for letting us film at their location. Happy DIYing, give a kiss to your furry friend, and of course, good luck!